Okay, to um, the more observant types out there, you're probably thinking right now, uh, what's the point of all this? Because in order to make any of these work, you've got to go into these in, into the PHP scripts and you've got to hard code in the variables and you've got to hard code in all, all the values. And if you're not a, a PHP program, you won't be able to use them, which is fair enough um, because so far we haven't really made them interactive. Um, the best way to make them interactive is by using them with some HTML. And as we've learned before, if you've followed previous HTML tutorials. Uh, the best way of, of, of inputting information with HTML is to use HTML forms and what we're going to do now is just go ahead and create an HTML form and show how that interacts with a simple PHP script. Um, so going back to our HTML, start off an HTML document just with HTML like that then head um, and we'll call it title film form um, and title then end head then go on to body um, now we'll just give it a little header saying, I don't know, what, what is the best film of all time. And close that off there. Um, now we're going to start our form itself. And obviously when you start a form, you do form action, you do form method equals post um, action. We haven't created this PHP script now yet, but... Um, We'll create it later, um, but this is what it's going to. Uh, this is what it's going to do when you click the the um the submit button. It's going to go to best film and execute that script. Um, also, take into account post post. I'll, I'll talk about the post super global later um, when we start doing the form handling itself. Um, but for now, we're just going to create our form. Um, now uh, we need to create a label. So the label is going to be. Um, We'll just do, we'll start it up with a, a P tag and we'll just do film title, tit title, um, then we'll just put a break in there. These are all just stylistic things. Now here comes the important bit, which is input type equals um, text, name equals film title, um, then we'll just put a closing P tag. Then just P and what's next comes year. Uh, put a break in there. Then input type equals text name equals year. Um, P. Um, then we'll do what was the last thing? Director. Director. Break. Um, Input type, input type equals text, Na name equals, just call it director, keep it simple. As with all things, make sure you, you give your, your, va your variables and your, your things sensible names. Um, then we're just going to do input type equals um, submit. This is our submit button we're going to do here. Name equals submit. Um, value equals submit. We can put anything in here. Submit data and close off our form and close off our close off our body and close off HTML. Right. So just take a quick look at this form. This form here. The important bits that we need to remember are name here because name is a bit like, you know, when we did arrays, you looked at keys, you looked at values. The name you have here is a bit like a key and the post is the post is part of a super global. It defines a super global. When you submit a form, everything goes into the post super global if you use post as a method here. Um, and then you extract it referencing the keys and the keys are the names that you define here. It'll become a bit more... It'll, it'll make more sense when we get going. Um, but I'm just going to save this here just to make sure it works. Try and get it up and working. Do a quick thing there. Ooh, why is that? That's because I did it before and it's still got it in the things. That's quite interesting. Um, that's kind of funny, but we'll take out those. Yeah, that is quite interesting if you're doing things from the point of view of cookies because I obviously haven't refreshed things well enough. Um, yeah, refresh it there and now it hasn't got stuff in there. Um, that's to do with cookies and because I was I was trying out before how to do this thing and that's kind of funny and weird. 
But yeah, um, now that looks okay, but I'm just going to cheat here a little bit and actually put in I, I pref a Blue Peter style. I did some styling earlier and I've got my little st internal style sheet here. This isn't supposed to be a lesson about styling. That's why I'm not going to go through here and, and do this. What's, what matters is the, is the HTML stuff, but if you don't know enough about styling, then there are other tutorials that I did earlier. Um, so I'm going to just style it up a bit more, make it look, there we go, that looks better, easier to read, um, but it does the same thing. Um, now if we typed anything in there, film title, Star Wars, year 1977, yeah, director, George Lucas, because I've typed them in already. Click that, it doesn't do anything because we haven't defined, um, we haven't defined best film PHP yet. So what we're going to do now is create our best film PHP script. So we're just going to do bap bap bap. Um, might as well do the closing one too, as per normal. Now think about this. What do we want to do? We want to output the information we've just had. Now, as I was actually, I'm going to put this in a new move to new window, so I can put that in the new window. Now, this is what I mean by the the, the post super global. In order to reference anything that's come from this form, what you need to do is do dollar underscore post then you've got your square brackets, then you've got an inverted comma, uh, quotation mark, then you reference the name of your whatever it was, that the, the form element that you're using. So in order to reference our film title, um, we go down there, look at the name, film underscore title. So we do film underscore title. Da -da -da -da. As you see, that, that, that now refers to the information that the bit of, bit of data that we put into that into our our thing there so that is a way of referring to using php code referring to star wars that we put down there so just to show that that does work um we're going to put echo we can just echo that out as it is actually um we'll file save as then we'll go into thing me thing thing Ding, 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 down to ZAMP. Where is ZAMP? It's there. htdocs, and we'll call this bestfilm.php. Remember, this has, got a, this has got to match up with the action that we put in our form. So bestfilm.php, and it's just going to work out Star Wars, I reckon. Fingers crossed. Out comes Star Wars, no problem. Um, and we can make this a little bit more complicated, but... Remember that this is an array, and we're referring. This is why I did arrays the last tutorial, and made sure we got that sorted out first. Because dollar post, um, that the post super global as it is, is an array, and we're referring to an element within that array, using the key that we specified down there. Um, and we can also refer to. Uh, actually, let's make this into a proper proper thing. We got. We we can now just treat this as we would <coughs> with any other sort of variable. So um, just do a concatenation there, and we can say it came out in um, then concatenate. And now we're going to do the post super global, and we're going to refer to uh, we did year, didn't we? So just do year. Um, it's quite simple when you get the hang of it, and was directed by, and then we've just got post super global again and and director director um that should work shouldn't it i'm trying to think yep no problem there we can just seal that off save that um and now fingers crossed Yep, Star Wars came out in 97, so 1977 and was directed by George Lucas. So there we go. That's just a way of showing how that's our HTML form. So this is our front end here. And this is our extremely, well, fairly simple PHP script, which is just echoing out the elements from the post super global, which is an array. And you're just doing that as you would with any sort of other array. And you're concatenating them in there and mixing them up with the static things that we've all learned before. It's, it's fairly simple principles before. It's just you're using this s post super dollar post super global um and referencing each of the names as you got there so it, the important thing is that the, the, these two things match up and that you you match up you've got best film php there um you've got best film php there 
you're using year there, you're using year there, you're using film title there, you're using film title there, and you're using director there, and you're using director there, and you're using um, method post down there. So just make sure everything is consistent, otherwise you'll get bugs in it and it won't work properly. Um, but just going back to this, we can we can also put we can put another film now. We'll, we'll put in film title Terminator um, year 1984, and we'll put in James Cameron and submit data. Terminator came out in 1984 and was directed by James Cameron. Easy peasy. So there we go. A, a fairly simple, fairly straightforward um, form and a fairly simple script that works with it.